Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ongoi here and if you're new to my channel, I create content around cooking, cleaning and organization. I also do a day in the life vlogs and hauls. Today's video is a grocery haul, the first one in my new apartment. So I am super excited to stock up my house and just have all the essentials that I need for yeah, cooking, cleaning and all of that. So I went to shop today and today i went to quick mart supermarket i will tell you why later i usually buy things at Naivas, but sometimes i go to quick mart so we will see how much i spent at the end of the video and we will see what was expensive there than other places and we can compare notes and see what we can you know save and where we can buy to save right yeah so i'll start with my toiletries which are in this big drum that i bought but before I do that, please make sure you have subscribed, make sure your post notifications are turned on so that the first thing you get is a notification once I upload a video. So guys, please leave me a comment down below. Let's chat about this grocery haul. Let's cry together because the economy is kicking our butts, but everything will be okay i really hope everything will be fine yeah so i'm going to start with the toiletries quickly and then head on to the food section uh so today i didn't buy so many things because i still have a lot of stuff from the previous month and from my previous house so i'm just trying to stock up and just have enough for the month or maybe two so i will show you all those things as we go yeah so i'll start with this um what is the name it's a strainer i have a pink one it's up there i don't know if you can see it i have a pink one and i found a gray one today so i had to buy it because i need one for like when i'm cleaning my vegetables before i cook or when i'm just prepping stuff i need a strainer to drain like my fruits once i wash them so of course i had to get it and it was only 60 bucks so i thought it was really nice and it comes with a handle it's from ken Pali. so yeah a strainer for 60 shillings and then I also got a cooking stick <laughs> which I thought was really nice because it's short and works perfectly for making ugali which I actually don't even cook. <laughs> I thought this was really nice for making ugali so I had to buy it. I think it was 40 shillings which was pretty affordable. So a cooking stick and then I got the Velvex premium kitchen towels. I love the white ones because I just love white nothing specific about them but yeah i just love white so i got to i have this exact set but since i don't have any left here i have to of course get one so i'll have about four to last me the month and hopefully spill over to the next month these were 290 shillings they went up a few months ago because usually they were 255 but i got them for 290 which is okay still good but i like them so much because i hate to have my hands wet so every time i'm cooking or prepping or cleaning i have to make sure i have this on hand so some velvex paper towel and then i got the velvex clean film i love this one I'm I don't know why I just find myself buying it probably because I buy Velvex products a lot so yeah I bought this I have one running but it might be out soon so I thought of having it because I always use this to wrap foods if I'm freezing or like maybe vegetables if I want to keep them in the fridge fresh I always use this so this was 130 shillings so yeah some clean film and then I got this clean it clean it uh, double sponge there are two of them and i love the ones that have these ridges because they help to like when i am doing my dishes like when i'm doing the dishes i don't have to like scratch my nails on the rough part so i like to hold it like this so i get this one that has these ridges and these were 90 shillings for the two of them which i thought was a good deal because these things can be pretty expensive in some places i don't understand why but yeah i got them for 90 bob and then i got some pads i usually buy the mold pad last time i was at quick mart they were not stocking them and today i was so excited to find them so i had to buy some i have i think like three packets left that i thought maybe let me just stock up and have enough for a few months so these are the normal no these are the long but the long medium and these are the extra long perfect for the night and this perfect for the day or maybe perfect for a heavy flow and perfect for a normal flow my flow is a regular light 
so anything works so yeah i got these two each was 79 shillings which i thought was a good deal these are the only parts on the market that are really good and they do the job right and they don't burn so yeah if you're trying if you're looking for like good quality parts i recommend you get more pen. so there's that and then i got this clean it swipe sponge cloth i've never used these things but i see people using them and now that i have granite countertops i thought maybe it's a good um thing to get so that i can always keep my counters dry because i realized if they are wet they will just like get darker than they usually are so i bought this specifically for that one was how much was this one was 60 bob yeah, and they had another one that was selling like a set. I didn't think like I needed more, so I just got one. So like that. And then I got these two morning fresh orange and tea tree dish liquid. I bought these two today because the big one, which is usually 750 ml, was going for 280 shillings. And these ones were going for 132 shillings, yet they are 400 ml so together this is 800 ml and that amounts to 262 shillings so i thought i saved about 18 shillings buying this and i got more mls from the two so yeah so i got this i really like it and it's super 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 good i love how it smells it doesn't dry my hands as much so i love morning fresh so there's that and then let's keep going i got some cuddles fabric softener i love the pink one because it smells like a baby's butt <laughs> mothers don't come at me but yeah i love the baby scent so much and it's not baby fever please not now but yeah i love this one i usually get the pink one today it was 190 shillings so i think today was kind of an offer because usually it's like 200 to 10 i don't know so i bought this one and i have left i have some left so this is just in case you know my mama who decides to bless my clothes too much and i need a refill <laughs> yeah so there's that and then i got the sufficient uh toilet cleaners the ones that you put in the cistern and then so that when you flush your toilet they leave a bluish uh whatever they leave the water blue i got this four of them were 175 shillings which i thought was no this was probably 200 and something i can't remember and i don't even know where my receipt is please guys excuse me but the ones that i remember i will tell you and the ones that i can't it we will just confirm later but yeah i got this so let's keep going i got some aerial i bought the 500 uh, gram one because i had a whole kg one and it's not yet over i think it's halfway so i didn't see the need of buying like a whole kg one and you know i really don't need it and i only use this maybe when i'm cleaning my floors sometimes and you know just for clothes and i have my laundry done twice a month so this can even go for two months to be honest and my mama four is really nice she doesn't waste products so i just got this one and this was 199 shillings which of course we know has gone up this product usually was, I don't know, 160, 150, but now we are buying these at 190, almost 200 of actually. So that, I got some wet wipes. I love the single pack ones so that I can pack a few in my bag and not carry an entire pack of wipes. And these were 100 shillings. I think some supermarkets sell this at 110, others 90 bob. It's just one of those products that you can't predict how much it will cost you. So. I really don't understand why, but yeah, I got this for a hundred bob, and they are the Ariel, 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 but white. Then I got some pocket tissues. I would have wished to match and get the Ariel uh, uh, pocket tissues, but they didn't have any, so I got the Fay, and these were 15 shillings each. I also like to have a pack in my purse, you know, just in case I need some. Uh, wiping to do and maybe I cry on the way home or God knows where. But yeah, I got the Hernan uh, Q-tips. Yeah, the cotton buds. So I really like these Q-tips because the the holding part is strong. So when you're cleaning your ears, you, you know there is no risk of it breaking or you know just being flimsy and fragile. So yeah, I got this. 
I'll refill, I'll get a few to refill in a small container and keep in the bathroom so that I can remember to clean my ears. Because hey, with this life and how busy we are, you can even forget to clean your ears. Guys, tell me if you really need. Because sometimes I forget to clean my ears and I'm just like, oh, I'm feeling itchy. I think I need to clean my ears and it's been a few days. That's not cool. That's not cool. Anyway, so I got a toothbrush because new month, new toothbrush. Have you changed your toothbrush? Actually, have you changed your toothbrush? Let me know if you've changed yours. But yeah, I'm changing mine. And I decided to try this Colgate, this cupped one. I usually buy the usual 50 bob ones. But today I was just like, hmm, let me see how this one works. And it was, I think, 90 shillings for this one. So it's still affordable. And for a toothbrush, I think it's fine if you splurge. But not me buying toothbrushes for 300 shillings. I'm sorry, not. I can't do that. <laughs> then I got some glycerin. I get. I usually get the nice and lovely unscented one. The one that doesn't come with a scent or whatever additive. They love the pure one. I usually add this to my lotion when applying like lotion on my body because I realized I have dry skin on my body. It's not prone to eczema or anything, but it's super, super dry. I don't even understand. So I have to always use glycerin on my body just to, you know, of course, moisturize it better. But yeah, this works for me. I have some running, so I, this can last probably another two months. So that should be good. And then I bought, I added another shower gel to my collection. I've been wanting to try this Cream Soft Nivea shower gel and it looks like it's good and it smells really nice. I'll try it and I'll share my review on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, please do so that you can see the review of this shower gel, but it smells nice. And I love the soft scents. I'm not usually drawn to strong scents. So I love this that I love that this is subtle and soft. Yeah, as it says. It says it's cream soft, so I'm hoping it does the job as it says. Then last but not least in my uh toiletry section i got the nivea aloe and hydration lotion so last time i went to quick mat if you guys remember i don't know yeah in the last grocery haul i showed you this lotion that i got and i can only find it at quick mat i don't understand why the others don't stock it maybe it's a limited edition i don't know but i got this from quick mat today and let me tell you guys now that i have told you that i have dry skin this lotion works like magic it is so hydrating i don't even need glycerin but anyway i add it just for extra moisture but alone it still works and yeah so i got this it was 300 no it was 479 shillings and this is the big tub which is 400 ml so it should last me about two months because i still have another bottle and i have uh, um you know sectioned it into you know small what do we call them i've sectioned it into glass dispensers let me show you one like this one i've sectioned my lotion into something like this i bought these containers from ikea kenya if you didn't know we have an ikea supplier in kenya but she brings but they bring small small stuff from ikea so these are soap dispensers and lotion dispensers from ikea really nice glass it's glass but with a plastic uh whatever dispenser but it works perfectly so i bought about four of these so i have two in the bathroom one with uh um, hand wash hand washing liquid and the other one with lotion and i need to bring the fourth one here to add lotion so that once i'm done doing the dishes i can remember to moisturize my hands so yeah so there's that so the lotion ends our uh toiletry section but before i go on to the food section i wanted to show you guys this bin so i got this big big bin in white which is magical because where do we get white plastics nowhere but luckily with matt had this one so when i moved here they told me that i needed to get a big bin that i can be disposing of my trash and keep outside the door and then someone will be coming and collecting the trash and disposing to wherever or you know when those trucks come and then they are going to clean my bin and I will find it at the door clean every Friday. So I thought that was really cool because I don't like using the plastics, the single-use plastics. I really try to avoid a lot of uh, fast, you know, single-use plastics in my house. So, <laughs> so this was cool so that I can, you know, of course, like dispose 
my trash once and then you know they can clean it and return it so it comes with a lid which fits on tightly so that you know there are no smells and all of that so i thought it was nice and i bought it for 720 shillings so i had tried looking for it at naivas and mm -hmm. theirs was 800 shillings and they didn't have nice colors they had just green red all those kinds those nasty colors so yeah so when i saw it at Kukman, i had to get it and again i really do need it so yeah, this is now my trash can. I'll keep it outside the door and then now I can be like emptying my daily trash in it. So now let's head on to my food section, which is a few items. Today I didn't buy so much food because honestly, I have a lot of food left and of late I've not been cooking a lot actually. And once I cook, like I freeze all my leftovers, so I'm not needing to cook a lot. But anyway, I'm still cooking and I still need to restock and have, you know, things that I need around the house. So, of course, I had to buy some food. To start us off is this Nutra Meal popcorn. I bought this last time and they were so good. So good. They don't pop big, but they are so good. I don't know. I don't understand how it works. But yeah, they were just delicious. I had to buy them again. So, this is a kg. It cost me 255 shillings. Popcorn has gone up so much, but I understand that this is imported popcorn, so probably the import fees have gone up too, because at this rate, everything is going up. We are also going to go up. Yes, right? Amen. Anyway, next, I bought the Ajab home baking flour. I love this one so much for chapatis, for pancakes, for baking, whatever. I usually just buy this. I'm not the usual, I'm not the person to buy the self-raising flour, the mandazi flour. I just buy one and then, you know, depend, depending on what I am cooking, then I can, you know, do all those mixing. But you can buy, I saw, actually, I saw they have a self-raising flour. They just had this plain one, but I saw today that they have a mandazi flour and I think they have a brown one. They've really improved there yeah, and I love them. Ajab, if you're watching, please sponsor me. Thank you anyway i'll reach out to them <laughs> but yeah so i love this and i just bought a small one because i don't think i'll be doing a lot of wheat this month let me tell you guys who a wedding is coming up and a sister here is a bridesmaid and yeah she doesn't need to have bloated tummies on the wedding day that is not a wedding but yeah she still needs to look fly <laughs> in that wedding so yeah so i'm not going to do a lot of wheat but i need some because sometimes you know you want to bake for fun and self-care not really to overindulge but you know just have some practicing recipes and all of that so i had to buy some flour this was 92 shillings yeah 92 shillings for the one kg baking flour yeah home baking flour then i got some sukari i got some sugar from nutramil too i love nutramil sugar i think it's because it's the finest on the market i could be wrong but yeah i think like it's the finest sugar and because i'm particular about the minimal non what an important thing <laughs> Yeah, I always get it. So today was 130 shillings. So yeah, sugar is still really high, but yeah, I'm happy that I don't do a lot of it. This actually will last me two months. Two good months. This will last me two months. So I don't need to buy sugar soon. Yeah, then I got I got the Dawat traditional basmati, the blue pack. Yeah, I love it. It's nice. But I realized that all these rices are good, but you just have to know how to cook it so for this particular one the what i realized that one cup if you if you're making one cup of rice use one and a half cups of water if you use one cup of water it's still going to remain grainy it's not going to like puff up really well but if you use again two cups of water it's going to be mushy 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 yeah it's going to be mushy so one and a half cups of water and one cup of the what traditional basmati will give you one one rice <laughs> Do we say one one? Can I talk about kamocha, kamocha? Why do we say that though? But yeah, so this is what I got for the next probably two months. I still have the last pack going, so at this rate, we might not have a grocery haul in the next like two months. But yeah, just the excuse that I am staying alone and I don't cook as much, but I'm trying to. So yeah, then now, oh. 
I need security. I need to install security cameras in this house and I need presidential escort and uh, a helicopter hovering over my apartment because I bought cooking oil today. <laughs> Yeah, so I got the Rina 3 liter cooking oil. And guys, let me tell you something. At this point, I might just buy another bottle of cooking oil, I think in August or September. Because let me show you. You see this bottle? This bottle is still what? It's just slightly under halfway. And I have used it since January. We are in May. Yeah? We are in May and I have bought another bottle. But anyway, I think it will last me the rest of the year. But yeah, please send policemen and escort and all of those people because how the hell can I buy such a big tub of cooking oil? But anyway, yeah. So now this being a really expensive commodity, I just had to buy it because it's not the one thing you will go to the supermarket and buy for like 90 bob, you know. It's a whole investment, my goodness. Yeah, so some cooking oil. It cost me 1,000. More than it cost me 1169 shillings. Let me tell you, I had to cram so that next time I go there and I feel like it's expensive, I'll clap for myself for buying it cheaper. But anyway, yeah, then let's keep going. I got the Kerichable Ginger and Lemon. I love this so much, and now that we're getting into the cold season, sometimes I wake up with a stuffy nose and you know, just feeling a bit congested. And this actually really works, it's not bitter, it's it's, a, it's nice. And I don't sugar these teas, by the way, you guys. Most of you people ask me if I add sugar to my tea. The only sugar I add, the only teas I add sugar to is black tea, plain black tea, and uh black lemon tea black teas only but fruit teas and green teas and purple tea i don't add sugar i just take them as they are if i need to spice them up i add some uh some lemon or maybe some honey which i rarely do so i got this this was 200 bob i'm adding to my stash of tea currently i have what let me see one two three five six seven eight nine ten eleven Currently, I have 11, 12. Currently, I have 12 types of teas. So, this is the 13th one. And I'll keep collecting teas and enjoying tea. So, if you're ever going to send me a package, please just make sure you bring me tea. If you're ever going to come and visit me, just make sure you bring me tea. Amen. Okay, let's keep going. So, I got the top shelf salt. 30 shillings. I love it because it's the finest of the finest kind of salt. I bought it today. I know I have some left, but I bought it just in case I go back and I don't have it. I have enough for a while with some salt. I also got some desiccated coconut. I bought a really small pack because I know I wouldn't use this a lot, but I need it uh, for when I crave coconut rice. I add desiccated coconut into the cooking water. And then I got some chocolate. This is PMS week. We need some chocolate. And I got this one because today was on offer. Usually it's like 360 something and today was 250. Can you imagine? So I bought this and I will keep it. Hopefully I can eat it slowly. Let's just hope. I can eat it slowly because I can finish this thing in one sitting. It's that bad. But anyway, yeah. Then I got some bacon. This is the color bacon. I bought this for sandwiches because I've really been enjoying cheese and bacon, egg, cheese and bacon sandwiches. So this for sure makes tomorrow's breakfast amazing. I have to make it. And I have the recipe on my reels. Scroll down to the calorie burner. Calorie burner. My God, is a calorie burner. He will do it for me. That reel shares this recipe. So, yeah. And then I got the beef safari sausages. Oh, let me tell you the price. The price of the bacon was 240. Yeah, it was 240. And then the sausages were 370. And I usually buy the beef safari sausages. I don't like spicy sausages. You guys, by now you know that. And it's not that, I don't know, like I, I rarely eat chili. 
I really, I know I cook a lot and I have a whole 30 spices, but I don't like super spicy food, so I don't buy uh, spicy sausages at all. Then I got uh, their beef on bone. This is one kg. I'll portion it and freeze so that I have enough meat for the next week or so or two. Because again, I have other meats in the freezer, so I don't need to, you know, just have beef. But yeah, this was 500 and this was 550 for a whole kg of beef on the bone and the bone is like his finger <laughs> see it's so small that's why i like buying meat at the supermarket many people argue it's not good but i have been disappointed by butcheries more than the supermarket so you choose your struggle but yeah me i choose to buy meat at the supermarket i also buy at the butchery but i try to I don't know like i prefer buying at the supermarket because they will get you like quality cuts and they won't sell you fat they won't sell you nonsensical bones anyway yeah this stuff. and then i got some lettuce lettuce which was really expensive but i have missed i have missed lettuce so much i had to buy it because i am now starting to kind of fall in love with salads so yeah, this was 140 ball, but it's so big. I'm hoping it can last a while, but I will try and eat it quickly. Yeah, so some lettuce. And then I got some macadamia nuts. I love this so much. This is the smaller pack, the 100 gram stuff, which is 260. I really like it. These ones I can also finish in one sitting. So just pray for me that they see the light of day tomorrow. Last but not least, in the food section, I got me some cheddar. Who doesn't love cheddar? Because I don't know. Well, after I just said I don't eat spicy food. <laughs> this is the only spicy I can hold. This is the only spicy I can hold. But yeah, I got this. 150 shillings. And that is it for my haul. But before I end it, I want to show you this notebook that I got from Quickma. They usually have a lot of these and they sell them for 500 bob. I bought this to use as a journal because I love um, I love that it has this section that has like your name and your phone number and your email. It has black pages where you can just add the date and tick the day and kind of, you know, journal. Now, I have a planner. You guys know I have a planner, but it doesn't have enough space for me to like dump my feelings, dump my frustrations, dump my successes. It doesn't have like a good, you know, amount of space for me to write a lot. And because you guys, I write for a living, so you can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> so you can imagine how much i can write just to journal and let my feelings out yeah so i had to get this one because it's an empty page it's one huge page and it has the dates are not marked so i can even go on to the next page and just write and write and write and write and just feel better so i bought this to add to my morning routine together with my journal of course and then yeah that will be it that will be my life so yeah so that is all i got from the supermarket today for everything that i have shown you today i paid 9525 shillings so my budget today was 10,000. hey after moving your money is just like just flying away flying away so i'm glad i stuck to my budget and i got everything i needed and in case i need to buy anything else i, I don't even think i need to buy anything yeah, I didn't have much to buy today, so this is good, this is good. So yeah, so my total came to 9,525 shillings, so that's good, right? Yeah, so you guys tell me in the comments what you think, what do you think is expensive, where are you buying your price, where are you buying your oil, which supermarket has better deals, when should we go shopping, because I understand sometimes deals are there, over the weekends in some supermarkets it's during the week so tell us tell us just give us the tea so that we can save at least that's a company five bob we can save even five shillings five shillings and buy lolly so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed my grocery haul and if you did please make sure you like the video please 
like the video and leave me a comment down in the comment section and let's chat let's discuss let's talk let's inspire let's motivate let's learn from each other and just have purest of vibes right yeah anyway thank you guys so much for watching i will see you next time bye